Hello, I'm Professor Andrew Dick. I'm fortunate enough to work at the Bristol Eye Hospital, where I run a, both an adult and with Professor Ramanan a paediatric service for patients with inflammatory eye and joint diseases. So we cover the whole region and some of South Wales, covering over 7 million people, and we're there to help in the management of their condition and the treatment with immunomodulation or disease modifying agents and what's now called biologic agents. So uveitis, what is uveitis? Well uveitis is a condition which is an inflammation inside of the eye and principally it can affect any area within the eye but in children it affects the colored part called the iris and there's other name for it is called iritis, an inflammation of that iris. And it can be acute, so it happens suddenly, and the eye can become red and painful. But more commonly in children, it is quiet, unrecognised, asymptomatic, but a grumbling inflammation inside the eye that without treatment will lead to loss of vision. So in our clinics um, serving the region, both Professor Ramanan and myself see patients uh, with uveitis and they often present with this inflammation inside the eye through a screening program when they get arthritis and the reason is that patients don't know they have this inflammation until complications occur so it's what us doctors call asymptomatic the patients no matter what age don't recognize they have a problem until the vision is reduced so we have a screening program that allows us to see all patients with a diagnosis of arthritis to see if they have any inflammation inside the eye. So with patients with juvenile idiopathic arthritis, there are various different subtypes. Um, doctors love classifying and subtypes, but it helps us because patients where only a few joints are involved, called oligoarthritis, they are the ones that are at higher risk of getting inflammation inside the eye, as I've said, called uveitis, and less risk the more joints that are involved. But the problem we have and why screening is important is it can occur at any time during the evolution of the arthritis. And sometimes, sadly, it is even there for periods without the patient knowing before the arthritis has occurred. So screening is really paramount to pick out the patients in order to get treatment uh, in place to stop the complications from occurring. So what do we look for when we screen? So the patients come and we have this magnificent microscope which basically magnifies everything for us. So it, it doesn't um, touch the patient, the patient just has to put their chin on a rest and we use this basically big binoculars to have a good look inside the eye where we're able to see inflammation. We're able to see whether there are any cells there and as such we can immediately diagnose that they have inflammation or uveitis in the eye. We can also with a very gentle anaesthetic measure the pressure within the eye to make sure that one of the complications of the inflammation is glaucoma where the pressure in the eye goes high and you can lose vision and we can measure that very simply very quickly and very painlessly um, all very quickly for the patient so that we can get them on their treatment what happens to a patient if they're not picked up or screened and what are the complications of having inflammation in the eye so uveitis untreated unfortunately has a high chance of losing vision and that's due to either scarring and what we call calcium deposition on the surface of the eye called the cornea, the lovely clear reflective part when we look at each other's eyes. Or it's due to uh, cataract formation. Cataracts are normally just heard of in old people, but in children they can get it due to inflammation. That's their natural lens inside the eye becomes opaque, so they can't see through. And that requires surgery or it's due to glaucoma, a pressure building up in the eye, and that can kill the optic nerve so they can lose vision. Or it's due to what we call edema, which essentially is just waterlogging due to inflammation, and that can occur in the retina, and that reduces the vision. And all this doesn't happen quickly, it happens slowly with time, but it happens if you do not treat the patient. 
how do we treat patients with uveitis, with JIA? Initially, you start on a regime of drops. It sounds simple, sometimes hard to do if you're not used to putting drops in, but they are normally painless and, and with help, patients get drops in their eye, eyes quite easily. But we don't want to keep patients on drops for long. So some patients will respond very well to drops and we start at a frequency of maybe four, five, six times a day. And hopefully over a period of two months, we're down to one or two drops a day and there are no signs of inflammation. And we may continue with that regime. But if a patient over a longer period of time requires more drops, but their arthritis is okay, we may start on a disease modifying agent, just like for the joints with methotrexate our, our, is our drug of choice. And if it's still not okay after another three months, then we would escalate to using biologic treatment. So how often should we be seeing our patients or screening our patients? So let's take patients that present with JIA and we first see them and they have no evidence of uveitis. We'd still screen regularly and we may screen up to two or three times a year and patients will be screened maybe up to 9, 10 or 11 years of age. And this all depends on the severity of their arthritis and the age of when you present. Information's there on websites. You can find it on the JIA site on NRES website. You can find it with other patient groups such as Olivia's Vision. It's full of information, detail about the condition, detail about drugs and helping you and all the carers and partners for the care of our children with JIA uveitis.